Today we are learning how to solve rational equations. These are the procedures in solving rational equations. First, eliminate denominators by multiplying each term of the equation by the LCD or the least common denominator. Second, take note that eliminating denominators may introduce extraneous solutions. So you have to check the solutions of the transform equations with the original equation. Example number one. Solve for x in the rational equation 2 over x minus 3 over 2x is equal to 1 over 5. What do you think is the LCD? The LCD for this equation is 10x because we need to multiply the numbers 5 and 2 and there is an x as well. So take the smallest power x to the first power. Now that we know the LCD is 10x, we need to multiply each part of the equation by 10x. So the first fraction needs to be multiplied by 10x, the second by also 10x, and the third by also 10x. Now let's simplify this. We multiply 10x by the numerator 2, that's 20x, and then divide by x, so that is 20, minus 10x times 3 is 30x, 30x divided by 2x, that's 15, is equal to 10x times the numerator 1 is 10x, 10x divided by 5 is 2x. Take note, you only multiply the numerator by 10x. Simplifying this, 20 minus 15 is 5, is equal to 2x. Solving for x, we now divide both sides by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we have x is equal to 5 over 2, or that is 2.5. The value of x, 5 over 2, or 2.5, will not make the denominator 0, so there is no extraneous solution. Question number 2. Solve for x in the equation x over x plus 2 minus 1 over x minus 2 is equal to 8 over x squared minus 4. What did you observe in your denominator? The fraction on the right side has a denominator of x squared minus 4, and that is a difference of perfect squares. So we can factor this as x plus 2 and x minus 2. So in this equation, the LCD is x plus 2 and x minus 2. So now we need to multiply each fraction by the LCD, x plus 2 and x minus 2. The same thing with the second term. We need to multiply this by x plus 2 and x minus 2. And for the right side, we multiply also by x plus 2, x minus 2, or that is the same thing as the x squared minus 4. For the first fraction, we can cancel out x plus 2 and x plus 2. So we will only have x minus 2 times x. Minus. For the second fraction, we can cancel out the x minus 2. So we will have minus 1 times the x plus 2. And for the right side, we can cancel out the x plus 2 and the x minus 2s. So the right side is only 8. Now we need to do distributive property. x minus 2 times x is x squared minus 2x. Distributing the negative 1, we have negative x minus 2. And then I will transfer 8 to the left, so we have minus 8 is equal to 0. Combining like terms, we now have x squared, negative 2x minus x is negative 3x, negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10 is equal to 0. And now we need to solve this quadratic equation using different methods. It can be quadratic formula, factoring, completing the square. The best method to use for this problem is by factoring. So we need to find factors of negative 10 that will give us a sum of negative 3. So we will be using negative 5 and positive 2 because negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 and when you add them, it's negative 3. 
So the factors are x minus 5 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. Using the zero product property, we have x minus 5 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. So the values of x are positive 5 and negative 2. Now we have to check for extraneous solutions. If you plug in 5 and negative 2 into the original equation, which of these two x values will make the denominator 0? Negative 2, right? When you plug in negative 2 to the first fraction and the third fraction, that becomes a 0 denominator. So that will be undefined. Therefore, the only solution to this problem is x is equal to 5. x equals negative 2 is an extraneous solution. Question number 3. Solve for x in the equation 3 over x plus 1 is equal to 2 over x minus 3. In this problem, the denominators are x plus 1 and x minus 3, and that is our LCD. So we need to multiply the left side by x minus 3 and x plus 1. Same thing with the right side. We also need to multiply this by x plus 1 and x minus 3. So for the left side, we can cancel out the x plus 1 and x plus 1. And this becomes 3 times x minus 3. For the right side, we can cancel out the x minus 3 and x minus 3. So we have 2 x plus 1. And you can do a shortcut method if you have this type of question. All you need to do is cross multiply. You can cross multiply the 3 and x minus 3 and also 2 times x plus 1. Using distributive property, we have 3x minus 9 is equal to 2x plus 2. Minus 2x to both sides, we have x minus 9 is equal to 2 because 2x and negative 2x will cancel out. Adding 9 to both sides, our x value is equal to 11. If we plug in x is 11 to your denominator, denominators will not be 0. So 11 is not an extraneous solution. Now it's your turn to solve these equations. Play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question 1. Solve for x in the equation 2x over x plus 1 plus 5 over 2x is equal to 2. What do you think is the LCD for this problem? Denominators are x plus 1 and 2x, so that is our LCD. So now we need to multiply each part of the equation by the LCD. So we multiply the first by x plus 1 and 2x, the second by x plus 1 and 2x, and the right side by x plus 1 and 2x as well. For the first fraction, we can cancel out the x plus 1 and x plus 1. So we have 2x times 2x. For the second fraction, we can cancel out the 2x and the 2x. So we have 5 times x plus 1. And for the right side, we have 2 times x plus 1 times 2x. Now we need to do distributive property. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 5 times x plus 1 is 5x plus 5. I will multiply first 2 and 2x, that's 4x. Multiply by x plus 1, we will get 4x squared plus 4x. We have 4x squared on the left and 4x squared on the right, so that becomes 0. And I will subtract 5x to both sides. So we have 5 is equal to 4x minus 5x is negative 1x. 
and then divide both sides by negative 1. So the x value here is negative 5. Again, negative 5 is not an extraneous solution because it will not make any denominator equal to 0. Question number 2. Solve for x in the equation x squared minus 10 over x minus 1 is equal to negative 14 minus 5x all over x minus 1. What do you think is the LCD for this problem? Denominator is x minus 1, and that is our LCD. This means we need to multiply the left side by x minus 1, and the right side by x minus 1 as well. So for the left side, x minus 1 can be cancelled. So left side is only x squared minus 10. The same thing for the right side. We can cancel out x minus 1 and x minus 1. So we have negative 14 minus 5x. Since we have a quadratic equation, we will transfer all the terms to the left. So we have x squared minus 10, negative 14 becomes plus 14, negative 5x becomes plus 5x is equal to 0. Simplifying this in descending order, we have x squared plus 5x, negative 10 plus 4 is plus 4 is equal to 0. Again, the best method to solve this equation is by factoring we can find factors of 4 that will give us a sum of 5. And that is 4 times 1. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So we have x plus 4. x plus 1 is equal to 0. Using the zero product property, we have x plus 4 equals 0. x plus 1 equals 0. So the x values are negative 4 and negative 1. None of these values of x will make the denominator 0. So there are no extraneous solutions. Question number 3. Solve for x in the equation x squared minus 4x over x minus 2 is equal to 14 minus 9x over x minus 2. The same thing with the previous problem. The LCD here is the denominator x minus 2. So we need to multiply the left side by x minus 2 and the right side by x minus 2. This cancels out the x minus 2 on the left side and the x minus 2 on the right side. So the new equation is x squared minus 4x is equal to 14 minus 9x. It is a quadratic equation, so we will transfer all the terms to the left. We have x squared minus 4x, 14 becomes minus 14, negative 9x becomes 9x, is equal to 0. Remember that when you transfer a term to the other side of the equation, you always have to change the signs. Writing this in standard form, we have x squared negative 4x plus 9x is 5x, minus 14 is equal to 0. Solving this quadratic equation, we are also using the factoring method. We need to find factors of negative 14 that gives you a sum of 5. So we are using positive 7 and negative 2, because 7 times negative 2 is negative 14, and 7 plus negative 2 is positive 5. So we have x plus 7, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Using the zero product property, we have x plus 7 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0. So what do you think are the x values? For the first equation, we have x equals negative 7, and for the second, we have x is equal to positive 2. Do we have an extraneous solution? Yes, we do. x equals 2 is an extraneous solution because if you plug in 2 to both left and right, denominator becomes 0. 
So this question number three has an answer x equals negative seven only. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.